Hello, I'm Kevin Houston, and I want to talk about trigonometric identities. So there are a lot of trigonometric identities, and in this video, I'll assume that you've already met many of them and are fairly comfortable using them. What I want to show is that most of them can be deduced from just three equations and the basic definitions of the trigonometric functions. This saves us having to remember them all. There are three key identities to remember. First of all, very important one this, it's sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Next, we have sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. And the last one is cosine a plus b equals cosine a cosine b minus sine a sine b. So those last two are called the addition formulae. We also need the basic definitions. So cosec is 1 over sine x, sec x is 1 over cos x, and cot x is 1 over tan x. Now, some people find these a bit hard to remember. The way I remember them is that cot and tan both have a T in them, so they go together. The hard one, of course, or the hard pair, is the uh, cosec and the sec, which one's which. Um, I always remember this by saying that cosec starts with a co and cosine starts with a co, and those are the ones which don't match. So I always think these cosec and uh, sec, they're actually the wrong way around. I always think that they're, that they're like that. It would be so much better if cosec went with cosine, but it doesn't, and that's the way I remember it, in the fact that they don't go together. So cosec goes with sine, and sec goes with cosine. Okay, so let's have a look at that fundamental equation, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. This equation is the only equation involving sine x and cosine x that we have to remember. It actually follows from Pythagoras' theorem. So if we take a right angle triangle, and we label up uh, the angle x, and we have the opposite, the hypotenuse, and the adjacent, then with such a triangle, the definitions of sine and cosine are sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so we take sine squared x plus cosine squared x, what's that? Well, that's opposite over hypotenuse squared plus adjacent over hypotenuse squared. Okay, so that's O squared over H squared plus A squared over H squared. And taking a common denominator, we end up with O squared plus A squared on top, uh, and then H squared on the bottom. So you'll notice that O squared plus A squared, well, we know from Pythagoras' theorem that that should be H squared. Okay, so we end up with H squared over H squared. And that, of course, has to be equal to 1.